My three children have been through, so that's testament on its own, and they've loved it. And they're all very different, so we cater for the child that's sporty, arty, musical. It's a very happy environment. Culford is three schools, and it's three distinct schools, and they each have their own identity very much. We look out and see the world. There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Lessons for life are really important, and that robustness about you know, risk-taking is really, really key. Whether it's in the classroom, out in the woods doing activities, or through sports and music and drama, making sure that the children are prepared to have a go at things that are outside their comfort zone. Sarah and I have got two boys who've gone through the prep school, well pre-prep and prep school, and they're both in the senior school now. We've seen how they've developed. We're very, very happy. Drama really helps you like, fulfil that challenge of public speaking. It's not all about creating or singing or dancing actors. It's about that intellectual inquiry and looking at what text can give us. These people were real, they existed in real life. We're ready for anything. To me, we've created an environment here where pupils can achieve their academic potential, they can get to their university of choice, they can get to their job of choice, but also it's a, it's a supportive and it's a safe environment where we can push them and encourage them to push themselves. We wanted to put something at the centre of the school that symbolised its academic heart, and the library was that. It wasn't about uh, technology, it wasn't even about books, it was about a space to come together and learn. I mean, the ancient Greeks used to walk and talk in the stoa. They used to gather to discuss ideas. Civilization, Western culture, democracy, philosophy, they started by people discussing their ideas and we wanted to create a space where that could happen and indeed a space that would reflect the way that young people now tend to learn. The sporting programmes are instrumental to offer a breadth of opportunities for children in our pre-prep and lower prep school but then really clear pathways for students to be able to really find the thing that, that they're, they're really excited about and then give them the sort of building blocks in order to, to excel in those particular areas. Ready for anything. What I love about Pelford is it is small enough and intimate enough to take us into connection with everybody else within it who either shares our views or absolutely disagrees with our views and who has the same right of expression of their views that we do of ours. And it makes us live as a community together. Boarding is central to that. We live as a community. It is like a real family and when you've got more than half of your school is boarding here, that creates a proper family because we're all living together, eating together. You feel like a family in your own house but then you still feel like a family as in a lessons as a whole, yeah. Yeah. like sitting in collective worship. Wesley had a phrase about transformation of the individual that I cling on to. Every child that comes to Culford Senior School is transformed by virtue of the fact that they come as a child but they leave as a young adult. And for us, it's a huge privilege to be trusted by parents to work alongside them on that transformation. Challenging, enriching. But enriching. it is enriching. And, and fun. fun. <laughs> Just want us judged on whether the young people who leave this school are a credit to their teachers and a delight to their parents. Ready for any.